What's up guys, today we will be upgrading the hard drive on this 2014 Mac Mini. Uh, pretty involved process, but it's a lot easier once you see someone else do it. So first of all, we're just gonna flip it over to the back and take off the cover. I have all the tools I need here. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this toolkit that I used. But once we remove the back cover, we're just going to use our uh, special security Torx. And it basically has like a hole in the middle of the uh, screwdriver. And we're going to undo the six screws here. So once you've removed the six screws, we're going to remove this metal plate. Now be a little bit gentle with this because there is that Wi-Fi connect, um, antenna connected to the Wi-Fi chip. Now we're just going to use our screwdriver again, loosen that up, and then gently pull up on the wire, and it should come out. Make sure you also take your screw out. After we remo remove that, we're going to remove the motherboard fan, and it's held in by six screws, I mean, sorry, three screws. Once that those three screws are removed, we're going to remove the connector. Again, just pull up on that. Now we're going to undo the um, hard drive connector, which has one screw on it. So once you remove that screw, you'll have this sort of metal plate that just holds it in place. We're going to pull up on the connector. And then we're going to remove the IR connector. So the IR receiver for the front of the machine, you're just gonna pull up on that connector. Now once we removed all that, we just have one screw holding the motherboard into place. Remove that one screw. And then now we can use our uh, logic board removal tool. We're going to insert it into these two holes right here right in front of the heat sink. And the motherboard's just held into place by some adhesive, so it may take a little force. Um, I've done this a couple times, so mine's already loose. Just take the tool, use it to grip it, and pull it straight down. Once you get it loose, you can remove that tool, and it should be free. Now we're going to hold this cable that holds the power supply, I mean connects the power supply to the motherboard. And that will just disconnect right there, removing the full motherboard. Now on this model, on the newer 2000, or the past 2014 Mac Minis, um, the only thing that is upgradable is the hard drive, so the RAM is soldered on board, um, no CPU upgrades, anything like that. But um, really, that's all we need to upgrade here is just the hard drive. It's a pretty quick machine once you do that. After you remove the motherboard, we're going to remove two more screws. So one is connected or holding the hard drive tray and the power supply together. And one more on this side holding in the hard drive tray. Once you've removed that, we're going to remove the power supply. Now this just came loose, however this should just sit like that. And to remove the power supply, we're going to remove this one pin right here. Just pull on it, and they'll pop right out. Twist this counterclockwise, and the power supply will be free to come out now. We're just gonna gently pull on it, will it wiggle its way out and that is the power supply now here we can remove the hard drive tray and the way the tray comes out is you just pull on it and that's it so now we can set aside this aluminum housing and we're just going to work with the hard drive tray now you can see here I've already done mine um, and I've upgraded to a solid state already. 
I'm just going refilming this video for instructional purposes. So now we're going to remove four Torx 9 screws. Now we're going to flip that connector up. That should allow the hard drive to slide out freely. And that's your hard drive. So get your new hard drive. Um, these will be on the old one. This is just some dampening pads held by some adhesive. This is your hard drive connector. And it also has some tape on it just to prevent it from coming apart. And that's how you everything should look. Now to reassemble the device, very simple process, just do everything backwards pretty much. So we're going to get our hard drive, connect the connector, put that piece of tape back on there, push down on that connector to just seal it into place. On the front of it we had those dampening pads, just place that back on there, put that connector up, slide it back into that tray, and then we're going to secure the four screws again. Now after we assemble the hard drive tray, we're going to reassemble it into the housing. Now we're going to flip this upside down, that's our IR uh, receiver, and that's going to go on the right side over there. Just insert that into place, make sure the holes line up with the bracket for the motherboard. Now we're going to get our power supply, make sure this uh, rubber piece here inserted fully in there. Now we're just going to slide the power supply in, making sure that our hole lines up with the hole to secure it. After that's all lined up, we're going to just twist this connector back into place. And we're going to twist that clockwise. And then remember to reinsert that pin. And that's just going to help it hold into place. Now we're going to secure the hard drive tray um, as well as the power supply. After we secured that, we can reinsert our motherboard. While you're placing the motherboard into um, the housing here, we want to reconnect that power supply cable first. After you've reinserted the power supply cable, go ahead and just push the motherboard into place. And everything should line up properly. Your power supply will line up. Everything else, all the ports. Now we're going to Resecure that um, IR connector for the IR receiver. Just push it into place. And then we're going to resecure the hard drive cable. Get it into place and then just push down on it. After we've pushed that into place, we're going to resecure just that metal piece as well as that screw. Um, and now we're just going to replace the CPU fan, clip that connector into place. Once you have that in, just realign the holes. Sorry, actually we have to secure the motherboard. So one screw for that again. 
And then after we do that, we're going to put the CPU fan into place using those three screws. So once you've reset the um, fan into place here, we're just going to connect the Wi-Fi antenna. Make sure you get that screw again. And the connector is just going to push down on it, and then we're going to screw this screw into place to hold it. So once that's secured, we could just place this right back on top, making sure that the antenna is facing the front of the computer. And we're just going to set our six screws back in there. Now, when you um, put these screws in, make sure you put the larger ones, two here and one in the center. And that is it for the assembly of the Mac Mini and swapping out the hard drive. Um, now we're just going to replace that cover back on there. And the reason why we had these screws, the two larger ones are in um, that specific place is because they line up with the cover. So that just snaps right back into place and we're good to go. So, thanks for watching guys. That's how you swap the hard drive on this 2014 and newer Mac Mini. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the toolkit I used um, as well as the hard drive if you guys are interested and a guide for how to clone the hard drive onto your new solid state. As always, if you found this video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.